Garden Street? I don't know. I'm on it all the time. Camera. All right. Save a lot. Dollar General. Brett's Card Utopia. Card playing, card buying, card trading. Save a lot. All state. It's now just called Edible, but I believe at one time it was Incredible Edibles, AutoZone, Miracle Ear. I don't need that yet. Engelbert's, Jackson Hewitt, Enjoy Nail and Spa, New Yorker Smoke Shop, Black River Wine and Spirits, Teddy's Restaurant of Rome, and NBT Bank. Thought I saw the moon. Coming around. Teddy's. Haven't been to Teddy's restaurant in a long time. Restaurants are just, I don't know. It's too expensive for the amount of money you pay for one meal. Just one meal. You can feed yourself for two, three days. Edibles. All state. Save a lot. You think they'd actually uh, sweep all this? I mean, this is just absolutely disgusting. And it's like this every day in the shopping mall. I mean, if I was a business owner in the shopping mall, I would really complain to the owner of the... We are now inside Dollar General. And really, Dollar General, stop jacking up your prices. You say it's because of uh, shoplifting, but seriously, I think it's because you want to just make more money. I mean, this is basically seltzer water with alcohol in it. How much can it really be? I usually dump half the can and then I drink the other half. Or vice versa. By the way, Dollar General is the most expensive store in the city for milk. Remember that. I mean, that is way overpriced. This is good protein shakes. If you ever need some protein in the morning, get yourself going. Comes in chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry. It's uh, two fifty or three for seven. It's actually really good. Very low amount of sugar in it. Once in a great while, I'll buy one. By the way, if you go to Walmart or uh, all these, you can buy uh, frozen uh, pre-cooked fish for like four dollars. Well, five fifty. Uh, just because you're going to a Dollar General doesn't mean you're going to save money. <laughs> I can't remember the look. Ooh. This used to be ginger ale. My grandmother used to like drinking ginger ale, especially for her stomach. Oh, 
was looking for another soda. Oh yeah. can't remember, but I believe my uncle Richard Perry uh, owned a 7-Up bottling company in um, Marcy, New York. I don't know what that building is today, but back in his day, it was a 7-Up bottling company. When he lived in the area, he now lives in Florida, but... Seven up Dr. Pepper. Coffee. This is good coffee. I usually like the International Delights. I got to like these coffees uh, when the uh, July 16th uh, tornado hit Rome. I had no power for a few days, so for my coffee, I bought these. And they're actually pretty good. But you got to be careful of some of this bottled coffee. <laughs> this is basically what my father would call useless junk. <laughs> book spray. You can never have enough book spray. In New York State, I think the mosquitoes are out even in the middle of winter. This is their dollar section. It's pretty good. I mean, you can get uh, dish soap, laundry detergent, bleach, garbage bags. Anything along here is only a dollar. Saves you money. I forgot what else I was going to get. Yeah, maybe nothing. Oh yeah, toilet paper. Their card section, school section. Their miscellaneous. Pet food. But food. Expensive. Laundry section. Now you can either buy the one dollar really cheap bleach or buy the real bleach. It's concentrated. I usually buy the dollar bleach because I use a lot of bleach. I just like the smell of it. Uh, this is your household clean. Now we have the popo in the shopping mall complex.